What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We have just hit, well, we're over 300 subs, which is incredible. Uh, I can't believe we started over a month ago and we've already grown so much. So please help us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers. Keep hitting that like button. Obviously, only if you like the video. Um, but today, guys, we are hopping in on the Let's Play series, and let's just dive right into it. So, as you can see, welcome back, Chief Builder Hall 6 Unlocked. That's incredible. We'll dive into that in a little bit. As you can also see, the season has ended. So, we have tons of loot. We are overflowing our storages. As you can see, we can only hold 4 million and 20,000 Dark Elixir. So, on this main village, we can easily come in here and start upgrading some of these buildings. So, let's just upgrade whatever costs the most expensive. These guys, remember, we've already finished our walls because we are on top of things. So, we're upgrading two of those air defenses. Let's go here in the lab. What do we want to upgrade? Um, if you watched our most recent challenge video, we had to use those goblins. Um, goblins, it... Uh, Right for right now, obviously, we're probably not going to use goblins again until we unlock sneaky goblins. And you unlock that from the super barracks. And once we unlock that, we're going to want those goblins to be max level as sneaky goblins become the greatest farming strategy there really is. So let's upgrade those. And then what else do we want to do here? This dark elixir drill will be crucial. Again, we're just upgrading as many things as possible before we uh, do anything else. Let's get this gym box. We're going to be at 750 gems. So we're only 1,250 gems away from getting to uh, the fifth builder, which will be sick. So what else do we want to do here? Let's wait for this. All right, perfect, guys. We got those 25 gems from the gym box. And we have one more builder to start over here. And again, let's just do the most expensive upgrade, excluding the town hall. And that looks like it's going to be this air sweeper. So perfect. We can start uh, earning loot again. And again, for this uh, gold slash silver pass, of course, we're not going to get the gold pass. But as we work through it, we can unlock all these awards on the silver pass. And eventually get ourselves to this free book of heroes, which will be quite nice. Uh, but this bank at the very beginning here, we can store 5 million of each and... What is it? 25,000 Dark Elixir? I could be wrong on that. It could be 50,000 Dark Elixir in this season bank. And that's awesome because once this month ends, like, like we're doing currently, we'll be able to overfill our storages. So now that we've done all that, let's head over to the Builder Base. As we saw, we are now at Builder Hall 6. Um, hey, you should probably know about this. I got a bit carried away swinging my hammer. And found this whole new cave just waiting for some stuff to go inside of it. So I also built a few things inside it. Just enough to make it feel like home. Okay, so guys, we have unlocked the second base on Builder Base. This is a fairly new update. Uh, let's click the giant orange arrow. This here building's where Otto lives. Oh, who's Otto? He's a little robot buddy built to help me out. Say hello, Otto. Oh, hello, Otto. Okay, maybe he can't say hello, but he can swing a hammer real good. All right, perfect. So we have unlocked the reinforcement camp. I thought it might be a tricky to attack others who have two stages. This is true. Um, 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 I say um a lot, so this helps. Um, not saying you're bad at attacking, or that's not what I meant to say. It's all right, Master Builder. You don't have to lie to us. But I thought some reinforcements on the second stage might help out. I'll leave it to you to decide how to use them. Oh, I think you guys know how we're going to use them. We're going to add another baby dragon. And we've also unlocked the hero since last uh, time we've been here. So this is... We're making big progress here on the Builder Base. As you can see, let's go around here. So we obviously have our typical gold storages and elixir storages, reinforcement camp, and this is Otto's outpost. So basically this is the town hall or builder hall 
for this second village. And basically, once this goes down, it turns into a defense. So it's not like the Town Hall 12, 13, 14, or 15 that immediately once you hit it, it starts fighting back. This, it dies, and then two little like sparky units kind of pop up, and they'll start like zapping your guys. So not a lot of damage, but at the higher levels, it can be quite annoying. So let's go back over here. As you can see, we don't have to click from village to village. We just scroll back and forth and see what we can build here. Claim five more gems. Thank you. And as you can see, we've also unlocked two builders. And that's why it's important to rush to the Town Hall 6 or Builder Hall 6. Because now, realistically, we can upgrade things twice as fast over here, which is awesome. So let's go into the shop here. Free to play, so you can't trick us. We're not buying any of this. Uh, but what we can do is start working our way to getting enough loot to upgrading these army camps and healing hut. So the army camp, obviously more troops on the field, overpowered. The healing hut, that goes with the reinforcement troops. So basically how the reinforcement troops works is we'll go into a live attack here in a second. But say I, I three-star the first village, perfect. Then the second village opens up and I have opportunity to get six stars. That's where the reinforcement comes in, and I will get another troop, a reinforcement. Uh, it's funny how that works out there. Uh, so I will get a secondary reinforcement, and the healing hut on top of that will heal up the troops that survived. So it's not a lot at the beginning. I think it's like 5%, but say uh, three of my baby dragons uh, survived the first raid. They're really low HP, but going to the next village, the healing hut will heal them up. Obviously, as we level up that healing hut a little bit more, the troops will have more HP going into the next base, and it'll just be a lot easier. So to start us off here, we can't neglect upgrading these storages as we saw in here. If we can find it again, 2 million and 1.5 million. We can't hold that yet. So guys, we need to upgrade both these storages and just start the grind on that. But guys, remember... It is so nice to uh, use this clock tower, and those should be done by the end of the video, or hopefully. Um, so let's go into a live attack and show off the battle machine, and then also hopefully we can get to the second base and use uh, reinforcements. So let's go in here. What are we looking for here? Um, hmm, it looks like the majority of... This individual's air defenses are on this first base, so this won't be particularly easy, but what is easy on the builder base, right guys? <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts of the builder base? Do you guys like it? I, I think it's fine after the update. Prior to the update, I found it unbearable, but now now I'm, I'm fine playing it on the low levels, but if you guys saw my one... Uh, uh, video where I was trying to attack in Legends League or get to Legends League on Builder Base. It's just such a pain, guys. And maybe it's just because I'm lazy and just use baby dragons, but I find it pretty difficult. So we're using all of our abilities here. Use all the abilities. And hmm. Yeah, facing these Builder Hall 6 is are not going to be easy until we unlock that second army camp. Or not a second army camp, but a fifth army camp. And we can have another baby dragon. Because that just makes an incredible difference, guys. What also doesn't help is, obviously, first thing we want to upgrade here is really the laboratory, if possible. Because then, obviously, we can upgrade our baby dragons from level 10 to 12. And that'll help a lot. Uh, level 11, obviously, just more hit points and damage. And then the ability gets upgraded every other level. So, let's do one more builder base attack and see if we can obviously get to that uh, second village. Oh, look, guys, this individual doesn't have that second village unlocked, uh, so the reinforcement camp won't even come into effect. But we'll still attack it, and hopefully we can three-star it, because that means this is a little lower of a base. Obviously, a priority over here is I need to get that hero upgraded. Because, again, for the Autobot, guys, uh, we need to get the hero to level... Uh, combine two hero levels to level 45, and also, guys, at level 5, he unlocks his ability, and he'll be somewhat usable. Because right now, guys, what? He took out two buildings? Like, big whoop. Uh, that really did not help me that much. But once I get that ability, 
he can start chain lightning kind of like an e-drag does and he becomes pretty decent so looks like i have failed again but guys again i didn't say i was great at builder base i kind of just come in here and get my star bonus and upgrade things uh looks like we might but i think these air bombs are probably going to take us out yeah especially because we're distracted with this barbarian oh for such a weak troop he can be uh such a menace here it, it, as in what, what is it even called the guard post yeah he just runs away and your baby dragons just follow it wherever he goes so that's our minor builder base update guys obviously you need to start upgrading this guy he just costs so much and pretty much everything i want to do over here right now at least has to do with elixir obviously this costs a million elixir and then uh both the army camp and healing hut costs elixir all the defenses kind of come secondary to be honest because guys we're just trying to rush so we kind of just slap them down they're level one defenses and then we go on to the next builder hall all right guys so that is our builder base update let's go in over here and continue pushing up in trophies obviously guys i know i said the push to crystal leagues begins from last episode and i haven't made much progress i I'm in college, and I went to college football game this weekend. It was a blast. Uh, my cats won, wearing my little K-State bucket hat here. Uh, but I do need to start grinding out and trying to get this account to Crystal so we can get closer and get that fifth builder. So in the process of doing that, let's go in and find a base. All right, guys, I found a base. It is a Town Hall 8, but it has pretty good trophies, terrible loot, but... Hey, our loot is all full, well, other than gold, but we've just started all four of our builders. So we're just going for trophies at this point. So let's be smart here again. Guys, same same real process. Always make sure to check for Clan Castle. And we should be good once he passes this army camp. We are not good. Okay, good thing. This is why you checked, or our hogs would have been decimated. Now we need to pull this Clan Castle. Let's pull it over here, uh, just so we don't have to pull it across the map. And we're going to kill this guy with wizards. So we're going to use our archers first. And then let's encase this guy with wizards. Nice. So these are working nicely. And now from our, let's place our hogs in on that same side, guys. Because we want our, um, oh, let's heal up on that uh, bomb tower. Because that is going to hurt. And same with this wizard tower. Uh, we want to keep our wizards alive that took out the clan castle. So we're going to attack from the same side. Uh, where do we want to place this final heal? Let's place it down over here to support the higher level hogs that we have coming in from the clan castle. And then obviously the king is going to be a big issue here. But uh, the spring traps are really doing, doing us in here. But it looks like the wizards should be able to clean up the back end. And we may not have enough here. It, it depends if we get lucky and not hit... A big bomb but that enemy king is just being kind of a menace he's just following our hogs around everywhere uh, we're doing fine here uh, a lot of defenses are down but all of our hogs are also down we have our king still up and this is where it gets a little difficult guys because it's gonna be a 1v1 with our two kings or five king versus level 10 king and we're probably just not gonna have enough firepower we do have the ability but we we're gonna have to save it for the ability Maybe these wizards can hurt him just a little bit here. Well, we know those archers aren't going to do anything. So, nice. So our king is distracting. So we've taken out all the defenses other than this king. So this is going to be the duel of the century. Uh, I don't know. Let's hope our king doesn't get distracted on a wall. These wizards should be able to support it. Time, this will be close. Time will be close, and it's going to be close. It'll probably be a 98% one star or a three star here. Uh, so that clan castle will probably be the last building that goes down. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is nice. We are distracted on the wall before the king engages us here. We're going to pop the ability right once, uh, he engages. We're running out of time here. And let's pop the king's ability. Hopefully he targets a barbarian first. Nope, should have popped it a little bit sooner. But we did good there. Now we need to all shoot the same wall, please. Work on the same wall here. Open it up. Let's at least get the two star. We're not going to get the three star here anymore, guys. Uh, all the hoggos died. Got a little bit unlucky of where we hit spring traps. We lost four or five at the bottom. Can we get at least this 
uh, two star? Or do I predict it? Oh, this is gonna be sad, guys. Yeah, those level eight walls really hurt us there. So that's tough. 96% one star, nine trophies, not our greatest showing. Maybe we'll just stick with Town Hall 7s if we can. All right, guys, we are back for redemption. And I did find a Town Hall 7 this time. So this should be a cakewalk, but we got to boost our confidence, right, guys? At least on the last raid, we didn't lose any troops. Wow, that is an interesting clan castle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, so let's pull this mini warden over here to the side. And we should be able to overwhelm it here pretty quickly. A uh, little bit further up here. Place it with a giant in front. Now let's spam some archers around. Two wizards should be able to do the trick right here. And nice. All right. Let's spawn in those hog riders in two different points. And throw in an entry heel where that bomb most likely is. Nice. Yep. I predicted that pretty well. And let's heal up on the side. The wizards go on the back end. And the hog riders can also go on the back end. There's going to be another bomb right there. No, there isn't. Okay. At least we're healing through the enemy king. That'll work. And looks like, yep, this is going to be a three star, guys. So, Town Hall 7 v Town Hall 7. Again, oh my goodness. But we have all our hogs this time. And that king stood zero chance. Yep, Town Hall 7 v Town Hall 7, guys. Pretty much a walk in the park. So, that's what it should be um, if you're as awesome as me at attacking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is a three star. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, these videos are so much fun to make. The Let's Play is the bread and butter of this channel. That's what we started with. Uh, so we'll, of course, keep knocking out those videos. But obviously, we have uh, challenge videos that we like making. We like making our um, push to rank one videos and our funny videos. So we're going to try to create a schedule where we come out with one video every single day, but we kind of alternate those videos. So I hope you guys enjoy all of the videos, but if not, I hope you enjoy the videos that you click on. Uh, so I have been Jacob. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.